No, we had a UM that was traveling the night before, going to see her dad to Seattle. The mom got here late. She said she had a flat tire. I believed her. Rescheduled because they were actually going to Disney, whichever it is, in Los Angeles. So I rescheduled her the next day. Happened to be at the gate the next day. The mom was deliberately late again. And I actually went down to the jetway and They'd already pulled back the jetway, and I leaned over the thing and started beating on the side of the captain and going, UM, UM, because I was determined she was going to have that vacation with her dad. The family ran out of some money, and so I bought them all dinner at Chili's, and I gave them money for a hotel room for the night. They had no money, and I put them in a hotel. Oh, wow. And they gave them money for the hotel, called the hotel, gave my credit card, and they stayed in the hotel room for the night and flew out the next day. <laughs> so, we were pretty backed up, flights were really kind of delayed, and I remember there was this one passenger, I forget where where they were going, a couple of them, um, but I remember they were real anxious, kind of worried about whether or not their bag was going to make their transfer, and they were up to a non-stop, I believe it was to a Phoenix or something like that, but a non-stop flight, and I ended up, uh, they were real anxious about their bag winner and whether or not it made it on or not, and I remember I went down specifically and I told them I'd try and find it and look for it. And I went down to T-Point and looked all over, found the original transfer cart that it was supposed to be on, and I snagged up their bags and made it on their flight, ran up and let them know, and just made sure they were relieved, and I'm sure they were, they were just ecstatic.